My name is Rocco Perry, and my wife just got bumped off at our home in Hamilton. This is my first diary entry, and I want to come clean on everything I've done. I was born in southern Italy and moved to Canada in 1908. I quickly became involved in organized crime. In 1915, I wet my wife, Besha Starkman. She was a real flapper, with a chassis like I've never seen. We hit it off. She wasn't just any dumb Dora. She thought and acted like a man. I fell in love and we got married. In 1916, prohibition was passed. I immediately sought a way to profit from this. I began smuggling liquor in and out of Quebec to Ontario and Hamilton. I was making stacks of jack doing this. You could say I was the big cheese, the babe Ruth of organized crime, selling liquor to speakeasies so men could go a drink till they would upchuck. But in 1920, prohibition was passed in the States. A mobster named Al Capone contacted me to see if I could help him smuggle liquor across the border to Chicago. So my wife concocted a plan to bring it over to the States. We began to pack the giggle water in boxes of vegetables that were headed to Chicago. Whenever anyone asked Capone about his dealings with me, he responded the same cunning way every time. I don't even know what street Canada is on, he said. By the time it was the early 20s, a time that bred consumerism in the middle class, the authorities gave me the nickname Canada's King of Bootleggers. It had a nice ring to it. I guess I owe all my success to the Christian women's temperance movement. If it wasn't for them, there would never have been a prohibition to start with. The authorities hated me because of this. The Prime Minister, Mackenzie King, did everything he had in his power to put me away, but was never successful. One day, at my home in Hamilton, the authorities came in and arrested me. I got out a couple days later with no charges, but on the way home, a couple of dirty hitmen came and knocked off my life.